Hi y'all, Paul Gladwell here, the Beardy Carpenter, and we're at our little off-grid cabin on the top of the hill in western Arkansas at the foot of the Washita mountain range. We're on the land that my dad grew up on, and I built this little cabin over 30 years ago, cut timber on this ridge, drug it up, hewed it with an axe. In fact, I did all the work on the cabin with hand tools. I wanted to experience what the pioneers experienced, experience the hard work, the physical labor that they went through to build a shelter for their families. And I feel like I was able to accomplish that. But in doing so, over the months that it took me to build this, a passion woke up in me that I couldn't su suppress at all. I had to pursue it. And I was fortunate enough to meet two fellows that traveled across the United States and built log cabins. And they were kind enough to take me on and let me work with them and teach me much of what they already knew. I had already had skills as a carpenter for many years to work with tools, hand tools, chainsaws. And I was able to build this little cabin and we like to come up here as much as possible and enjoy the, the pioneer lifestyle, if you will. By staying here, cooking on a wood stove, and just enjoying being in nature, listening to turkeys, seeing deer, squirrels, hearing the coyotes at night, the whippoorwills, the hoot owls. It's just a pleasant experience. My goal is to teach you how you can realize your dream of the log cabin by building it yourself. And what I would like to do is to take you on a journey with us. I'd like for you to follow us as we take you to our home that we live in now and see how we have been able to progress from a little small off-grid cabin to a, a log home that we live in and where we raised our daughters. So come on, let's go. Let's start this journey together. Oh, by the way, you might want to get your big stick and take with you. I saw mountain lion tracks down at the foot of the hill this morning, and he's a big cat. He's this tall this long and he's spooky. So you take your stick and you shake it and you best be a good stick shaker. Come on, let's go. We got a ways to go. take a little breather here in our hike. I wanted to stop here at this post oak tree and show you this burl. This thing is huge. It's, it's a great big burl growing on the side of this tree. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the mountain lion situation. I was really teasing up there at the cabin when I said you carry a stick and shake it. That's really not what you want to do. If you do run across a mountain lion, from what I understand, you want to stand as tall as you can look as big as you can and speak with a voice of authority to the mountain lion. You don't want to shake your stick at him because you could provoke him and you don't want to do that. And slowly back away and more than likely he will go on and, and leave you alone. Now if I didn't scare you completely away we got a little bit further to go. So come on let's, let's continue on and go on to the house. Well, we 
finally made it down here. Long walk. Y'all come on in. Come on in here. I want to welcome you to our home. This is where we've been living for close to 25 years. Um, we raised our, our girls here. Now we're enjoying having our grandchildren here. And uh, we want you to feel at home here. Y'all sit down and make yourself comfortable. You can sit wherever you want to. I'm getting a little bit long in tooth. And I would like to pass on to you the knowledge that I've been able to gain from working with logs and timbers and just being a carpenter for the past 45 years. I learned a lot from my dad and I told you earlier he was a builder and I'm a second generation builder and he was one of the best. If there ever was a man who was a perfectionist in building a house, he was that man. And I worked for him and with him for many years and he was a hard taskmaster, but he wanted it done right and he taught me to do things with precision. Everything had to be done right because he always told me, he said, if you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it over because it's always harder the second time to redo something to fix it than it is to do it right the first time. And that stuck with me for many, many years. And I would like to pass on to you some of the knowledge, skills that I've learned in, in building log cabins, log homes. I've worked on everything from small off-grid cabins, playhouses, tiny playhouses, all the way up to homes that looked like a lodge. They were so big. But it's not probable that you're going to build a house like that because those, those homes are very, very expensive. And if you're doing this yourself, you're wanting to save as much money as possible, and that's what I want to try to help you to do. And we, we would need to talk about site preparation, and I hope to do a video just on that. And we realize that this is going to be a journey, and we would like you to join us in our journey. We have never done videos before. This is our very first one, and we've already spent several hours doing what you see at, at this point. But that is my goal, is to teach you how to build your log cabin so that you can realize your dream. Because when you live a dream, it becomes reality forever. And I stole that from one of Roy Underhill's books, who was uh, very instrumental in me actually pursuing what I do. I received for my birthday many, many years ago two of his books and there was a small chapter in there about building with logs and I owe him a lot. I've never met him but I do appreciate what he does. Roy Underhill, the Woodwright Shop, you may have seen it on PBS. I owe that man a lot and also my, my friends that I've worked with, Al and Gary. They were so patient and anxious to teach me and I was anxious to learn. And I hope that you're anxious to learn also because there's, there's a lot of detail that we'll go through and I want to explain in detail the different steps that I do, that I go through. I'm a very methodical person and that makes it easy for me to, to be consistent in notch layout, notch cutting execution, uh, following it all the way through, through from the layout to putting it on the wall and fitting it and make it look like it was meant to be. We realized that uh, we were gonna make mistakes in our videos and we, we ask that you bear with us and have patience with us as we learn and, and go on this journey. And we hope that you are able to glean everything that you need to build your cabin, whether it's a small cabin or a log home that you want to live in for the rest of your life. We do ask that you subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and tickle the little bell and all the th different things you to do to let us know that you're watching. And we do ask that you would share this with your friends, whether it be on Facebook or just people that you know. 
and we ask that you just come along with us and enjoy this ride. Thank you and God bless.